So we were doing a, a airbag to spring conversion a couple weeks back, got that done. But the thing is there's these rear tie rods back here and they haven't moved <laughs> in a very long time. And so with me struggling to try to get them out, I ended up busting the little boot on the thing. So I ordered the new rods thinking they came as a whole piece. Well, no, it was just the rods. It didn't come with the actual end piece. So now we have the end piece which is this little guy here. This is the little boot that I busted out. So we're gonna pull these old guys off, put this along with the, the rods themselves in, then get the tires on it, then get it aligned, and then we pray to God and two or three others that this thing is road ready finally. So we're gonna go ahead and get it up in the air. So sometimes I amaze myself. Huh? Well, I changed the oil yesterday on the compressor and I forgot to turn the damn thing back on and I have no pressure right now. <laughs> All right, so I just finished the tie rod in on the other side. So I'm gonna do like the whole thing on this side, beginning to end, so you can kind of see it all in place. First and foremost, what you wanna do is make sure you remember all your tools from the other side and bring it to this side so you don't have to get up and down 15 times. Pop this guy off first. If you have metal, wrap it in a freaking cloth. Just do it, just do it. These are 21s. Uh, if you did not have an impact gun, then break these loose before you lift it. If you didn't know, now you know. Put it in reverse. The back window. By the way, it's gonna be like 800 bucks to wire. And while we got the lift, we should seal that crack. One side's done. I'm doing a video. You're talking on video now. <laughs> but I can always edit. Or maybe I'll just leave it. Here, can you take this tire? Step 13, give your sister the big tire. <laughs> because I couldn't find a video that really showed how the fuck to do this stuff, I figured I'd make one. This guy has to come out and you'll see there's a little nut up underneath here. Now you will notice that sometimes it spins when you try to loosen it. I just kind of held down as tight as I could here and then impacted this side. If that doesn't work, I'm really not sure how to do it without an impact, just to be honest. But hopefully, hopefully you won't have that problem. Um, but anyway, that had to come out. But because I was fighting it, um, trying to get it out, I was trying to put a like a ball joint remover in here and pry it and it wasn't working and in the process I split the boot <laughs> my sister actually found a four pound hammer we had laying around the shop and you'll want to just come up under here and knock the shit out of it and that'll pop it out um, penetrating oil may work as well to help loosen it up but that's what you want to do so what but I cracked the boot on that side this side I didn't but if you're doing one side you might as well do the other and you'll notice this one even though it's not cracked it has a lot of play in it. To open up this lower piece down here, um, you're gonna need an 18. I could not find torque spe specs on this. But you see it busted pretty easy. So yeah, it's spinning on me like I said. So I'm gonna cheat now. And that's what you got right there. Now this will come right out now because I already broke it loose earlier. But again, if yours is stuck, hammer that bitch. Now we're gonna get up in here. This is gonna be 20, 21 for the piece up in here. There's an access port. I'm gonna do this backwards right here. And you'll have a nut on either side of it. And that's your 21. Now I just discovered I already removed it. <laughs> uh, my tutorial is foolproof, man. You can't go wrong. Take note of this hook. This is gonna have to hook back up in here correctly. So, yeah. You'll see how it's 
slightly, this one's actually pretty straight, but my other one was bent slightly. So I had to take a little tool and straighten it out. This one actually looks pretty straight, so we should be okay here. If you're wondering how I'm getting this great lighting, check this out. That's my underhood light. Great for interior detailing, by the way. The other one, they put the nuts on it already. This one, they put it in a bag. The larger one is going to go towards the center where we just were. And this smaller one, we're gonna thread on here first. I'm gonna count the threads. So basically, put your fingernail in here and count how many threads you have. And then you're gonna wanna line up where this nut is in the same spot on the other one. So this one's at 19, the other one was actually at 15. And I'm gonna take this bad boy and thread it onto this bad boy. And again, the 19 thread is gonna be behind it. <laughs> I fucking skipped the thread. Start over. Cut one thread off, so we'll just tighten that a little more. Then we'll do a size comparison here. You're just gonna line them up, make sure they're relatively close. So do your center part first, learn that on the other side, and then we'll line this up to drop in underneath the rotor here. Now if this doesn't line up here, if this guy isn't lining up, this will shift. So move this to where you need it so you can line this bad boy up. relatively painless. So now we're gonna try to find our tools again. So I'm gonna tighten up that center one first. Now I could not for the life of me find the torque spec settings on this. But I can tell you when I loosened those center ones up, they weren't that bad. I used the breaker bar um, and I really didn't need it. Like it broke pretty easily. So I'm assuming, it's, I would guess, excuse me, probably around 50 or 60 foot pounds. But don't hold me to that. Now we gotta tighten this little bad boy up. Same deal. It wasn't god awful tight. I can't find the torque spec settings. We'll get it as reasonably tight as we can with. Now I'm just gonna kind of feel it to see if it feels snuggy. Good. Free hand mode. So here's our finished project. This guy here, we just tightened him up down there. Got our threads as close as we possibly can. Got that tightened up over there. Other side is already done. Um, now we're going to just go on ahead, mount the wheel back on. It's hard to find good help, man. Time to put the tire back on since there's nowhere to be found. Christina! Interesting fact. Christina is from a show called Steins Gate. I am an anime nut. Not a nut, but I like anime. They got good storylines, man. They got good storylines. Steins Gate, check it out if you like anime. The assistant's name is Christina. He's always yelling that shit. I'm gonna get the tiger now. Apologies if my ass was just in the camera. Nothing is ever where you want it to be. Ugh. 
these are on uh, a sign if you're wondering if you need to replace this like I showed you before the um, the old one was very very shaky the end was with this new one here like it doesn't move it's nice and tight that's what you want back there I learned that I didn't know <laughs> by the way if you didn't notice already I'm not a fucking mechanic but I watch a lot of videos and I piece enough stuff together and then I try to share what I learned the other thing you might want to look for see how bald these are on the outside no bueno so alignment's bad so that's where we're going to go off to next get these bad boys replaced get the alignment done so they can look at it and say hey by the way your front end needs replacing and fuck with my luck that's what'll happen but let us hope let us hope wheels has to do no more fix it work on this thing for now Alright, so I just went to uh, drive this thing over to get the alignment done and it was so far off from the rods that I put in, like I could feel the back end like not really gripping that well. So instead of, you know, it was only like three mile drive, I'd rather be safe. Uh, I called the tow truck driver, had him take it over there so it can get taken care of. Just picked it up and now I'm picking, got the tires in the back. Offer up, man. Offer up. Got like a six hundred dollar set of tires for three hundred bucks. Brand new. That's good with me. But you yeah, had the alignment. Oh my goodness. Let me let me pull this out here. So like I said, the front wasn't that bad. Up front, left and right. But then as we drop down <laughs> to the toe, we are three and two and a half. Oh yes, we were quite bad. Now we're all straightened up down here again. So yeah, I'm I'm glad I didn't drive it. So now I got the new tires, gonna head over to discount, have them mounted up, and we should be all good to go. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys found it helpful. I hope it you know saves you a little bit of frustration and I put as much info in there as I could. Um, the other thing that we're doing here in 2019 is I am not doing YouTube monetization anymore. So there will be no ads on our videos. Instead, what I want to propose, which I actually saw in another YouTuber's video, is a value for value swap. So if you found this video to be valuable in terms of saving you time, saving you money, showing you how to do the job, you didn't have to go to a mechanic, whatever the case may be, uh, and you wanted to donate back and support us and help us keep everything going, that would be super, super appreciated. Um, there's a couple different ways you can do it. I'm posting the link below. Uh, anything is appreciated because, again, it does take a good amount of time, takes money, takes more time <laughs> to put all this together rather than me just going in and, and doing the job and being done with it. I know how helpful these videos can be when I'm in need of help. So I want, just want to try to give back to you guys and hopefully we can kind of complete the circle. So if you can, that'd be great. Please like, please subscribe, hit that bell. That seems to be the new thing in all videos lately. So that way any new videos we post up, you get a notification on. Uh, if there's any specific things that you guys want to see going forward, please leave it in the comment. Conversation is good. Any other questions, leave in the comment. I try to respond to everybody's questions and comments. So again, very much so appreciated. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, and we'll have a new video coming out to you soon. Have a good weekend.